today what we're going to talk about or think about is how we feel about aging and what our thoughts are. So I'd like you to just take a moment and look at the associations that you have with aging. Um, unfortunately or sadly, most of our associations owing to bad press um, has been predominantly negative. So aging is associated with loss, it's associated with decline and um, there's hardly any positive associations that we have with aging and the aging process. Interestingly, however, with the advancement of healthcare, with um, the uh, adult population having better quality of life, access to more resources, better financial stability, we're looking at more and more people entering uh, into a phase post-retirement and leading very productive lives, or the potential for leading very productive lives well after that for the next couple of 20, 30 years um, post-retirement. And um, while old age has its challenges, and that's not to be overlooked, it's, it's also about looking at what we'd like to call as optimal aging, where we're looking at um, maximizing gains and minimizing losses. And um, late adults, or people well into their late adulthood, have a lot to offer in terms of wisdom, in terms of how they uh, conceptualize and crystallize their identities. And that's something that they take forward with them. And it's important to relook at the way that we think about aging and focus on ensuring that we look at it in a more optimistic, more positive stance, which, <coughs> which then gets us to cultivate um, a better perspective of what the future is going to be like. And today we have a lot of studies that have talked about positive aging in terms of um, how it's important to maintain a positive sense of self, to remain active and socially engaged to provide meaning, uh, keeping the brain active, so uh, post-retirement doesn't mean a period of uh, decay and boredom. There are a great deal of expertise that people can offer, so voluntary activities, um, being consultants. Um, it's also because there are health-related issues, managing your health, going for regular checkups, uh, managing stress, and uh, eating healthy is something that's very important. And uh, if you look at your own grandparents and you see the relationship that you share with them, uh, probably you'll get more stories of positive aging than if you just look to media 